Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and in this video, I'll be sharing what I picked up at the flea market. I got a small bag of jewelry and other bits for $25, and then there was one other find. Besides the jewelry, I picked up one other thing. It is this dog head. I paid $8 for it, and it's bisque. It's got a little bit of a shine to it, but in general, it's that um, unfinished, rougher feel. And something about it, I just really liked it. I'm going to hang this on the wall where I have my match strike and uh, the mirrors. And I think it'll just be a nice contrast to how metallic and shiny everything is over there to have this solid, opaque piece. I'm just going to put a little hook in the wall and hang it. Hopefully it's that easy. I feel like it should go up in there. So I don't see any markings as to a maker, but then when I look at the bow, I feel like it says EMS, and that really could just be the wrinkles in the bow, but I don't know, it kind of seems clear to me. So maybe it's a way that the maker worked the initials into the design. So I'm going to look that up and see if anything comes up. So something different for me, but I was drawn to it. So let's see what was in this bag. There was this piece of fabric, probably silk with um, silk thread. The thread's really soft. I was drawn to it because of the bow and I love the knots that are added. And this part here has a little Lily of the Valley feeling to it. On the back, you can see the color of the thread. So I'm gonna soak this and see if I can't clean it up some. There was a button hook that had a pearl handle to it and I love the brass color there, very small. A compact has a little purple design, those are M's. And it's got a mirror in there. It's cracked, and I actually like the crack. I think it gives it some character. Little purple poof there. And I picked this up to use for a sculpture in the future. And that is Melba, and I do have a tin that is the Melba brand, and it has a really nice Nouveau design on it. I picked up this um, dogwood pin because I used dogwood uh, jewelry when I created my hand sculpture and I knew that this piece was bigger than what I had used. So I don't know if I'm going to add this to the sculpture or if I will create something else in that series and then I can use this pin to link the two pieces. It was on a little piece of paper that said it was sterling. Um, and now that I get it home, I can see that it is uh, marked right there. And I took a little break in between filming, and I can't remember if I told you that I went to write it and tried nail polish, and that's what that is on my nail. I also picked up this set of earrings because I thought it had, you know, a nice feeling like this with the metal, the thin metal and floral. Looks like orchids. And uh, these are marked very, very tiny here that they're gold filled and looks like it's a letter C and then an A with an arrow through it. Um, but because the arrows through it, it could be an E and an A. Also when they were laying down, that looked like they were marked on one of the leaves. Right there, I wonder what that says. It says design patent or patented. A little pin, it's got pearls, little red eyes, and uh, that one is marked here, Balou, B-A-L-L-O-U, registered. I like those little red eyes. It looks like everything's there, nothing's missing. This pearl piece, um, I don't think it's like freshwater pearls, but like some type of maybe mother of pearl that they made like the perfect circles or spheres with. But I was drawn to this because I really liked the middle part. I liked that 
little emblem there. And at the top, and I, and I think it has all of its rhinestones, it's on the clasp, it's on here, and then this says uh, Vivian Westwood, who's a very famous designer. I've never come across any of her stuff. I didn't even know she made jewelry. A pair of Aurora Borealis earrings. I have a lot of these, but I don't have any that have white in the center. And I picked these up specifically to start to adorn all the bottles that I've purchased because it has such a nice flat metal base. That's also why I got these earrings. And I was, I just love the colors. I love how it went from the turquoise to the blue. There's a little gem up at the top. I just kept being drawn to them and I added them to my pile. And they are marked, but I have, it's really hard to tell. Bell or Beal. And like at some angles, it just looks like initials, but I do think it's a B. In the end, it looks like a tall letter. So I'd like to know a little bit more about them before I did use them, though, if they're like something really special. But I mean, these just look like little beads and just like a fake turquoise, so probably not. And then there were um, these little Victorian chains. This one looks in really good shape. It's marked. These are always usually um, gold filled. This one's marked Hayward and it's got a really good clip here on the end. And let's see. Okay. These I didn't really look up close. They were just an old baggie, so I dumped them in. Yeah, the, all the little clasps look really good. And then it's got a little bit of engraving on that little slide. I just love these and I love to string them together and make them longer and use them for whatever I need them for. Okay, these are tangled. That one's really pretty and detailed. Looks a little broken though. It's got a little hook. And then this last one, really neat. And I, I like the chain on these last two, a little bit thicker. And it has a coin that's been added. And I looked it up, this is a Prussian coin, Friedrich Wilhelm III. And it has a date of 1823 on it. So it's really cool. I think I might have time to share um, the rest of the things that I got uh, at the little shops that I stopped at uh, that I shared in my vlog. So first, treated myself to this at the antique store. It looks like a C and a G. So this will be the third one that I have. Definitely decided I'm collecting these if I see them when I'm out and about. And I'm gonna add this to my curio cabinet and the reason I really liked this one is that on the inside it had this engraving of the date October 29th 19 I think 18 it says October 29th 1918 so awesome so this was I got really good deals on the other ones. I paid 50 for one, the other one I think was 80. Um, I might have even gotten discounts on them. This one was 100, um, but like I said, I collect them. I liked the dates and the engraving, and I kind of told myself if I came across the reasonably priced ones to get them, and I do believe that online they still go for well over that. And I got two little bags of um, jewelry to create with. They were $3 a piece. And I got this bag here. I'll, I'll take that to school, but I picked it up for these two pieces. Here's a buckle, um, just says made in the USA. And uh, I showed it to my daughter and I said, 
why do you think I got this? She said, because it looks like a bug. I'm like, yep. I mean, it could be the head, the body, and the wings, or it could just be the head and the body, and you can add wings. Even could look like an owl. And then I saw that this butterfly was marked sterling in the bag for $3. So that meant each piece was a dollar a piece. And uh, I don't know, probably not real turquoise because the color just looks all even. But I like insects and bugs and it's got some stamping on it. So that'll clean up nicely. And I picked up this bag. I think this bag has four things in it, which is awesome. Even less than a dollar a piece. And I liked... Well, I, I want to keep three of them, and then the other one I will take to school. So this neat curved rhinestone pin with that really old clasp. Uh, that one's seen better days. Looks like, uh, it doesn't look like it has any rhinestones around the edge, so maybe that is the design with a little stone in the center. And uh, this was the first thing that I had noticed was this uh, different, like, real large shaped rhinestones. And then this, I don't know, necklace or a bracelet, looks like a little belt that actually could be cute for a doll belt. So I might see if my daughter wants it, but also could be good at school. Um, I remember my very first year teaching, we did these sculptures and this girl brought in this big coil from um, a car and oil cans and everything. And she made this little wiener dog. It was amazing looking. And something like this could be perfect for a little leash or a collar. But I think I picked it up for this, but I think my favorite is this little piece there over there. So I actually think I'm caught up on my thrift haul um, or everything I've thrifted recently. So thank you for watching. And next I need to put this stuff away. I'll see all of you in another video. Have a good one. Bye.